Welcome everybody to the first and what I hope will be the only online premiere of two original tone poems composed especially for the Santa Barbara City College Symphony. I'd like to uh, introduce you to the talented members of our symphony. Here they are. Um, everybody wave. <laughs> Tonight, we will hear music performed by these talented musicians um, and hear the stories behind each piece directly from the composers. But first, a few reminders for our viewers. You may replay this music at any time by visiting the SBCC Music Department YouTube page. And let me put that in the chat for you right now. I think I undocked this chat window so I could do that. There we go. Here's our uh, YouTube page for SBCC Music. It's in the chat there. Um, so hopefully you can make it to that YouTube page and uh, there we go and um, see not just this group, but also other members of the um, concert band, the jazz ensembles, uh, the choirs. They all have uh, material up there that's fantastic. So um, so you've got that going for you um, at the YouTube page for SBCC Music. Also, please feel free to type a greeting into the YouTube chat so that we know you are here. The musicians and I would love to hear from friends and family. Uh, let's see. Oh, great. I see lots of folks on board right now. Um, the use of headphones or an external stereo sound system is encouraged. Headphones will allow you to hear the entire orchestra, whereas computer or phone speakers will only allow you to hear the upper half of the orchestra. And, you know, the celli and the tubas and the, ba the bassi, they need love, too. So, please... Where are your headphones? I think I'll put mine on now. Anyway, let me kill this. Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, when COVID-19 closed our classrooms in March of 2020, I was looking for a means by which our group could continue to make art well into 2021 without ever leaving our homes. Uh, after discovering that real-time audio over the internet would just be too unwieldy for 65 member, uh, 65 member orchestra like ours, I set out to find literature for an orchestra for our size that was beautiful and had roughly two minute sections that we could record each week. Uh, the problem was that that didn't exist. <laughs> so after combing music libraries and finding there was nothing there for us, um, I approached Scott Lillard and Cody Anderson, two talented composers in the ranks of our group, who I felt could be the first ones in history to tackle the job. I reached out to them in June with a list of stringent requirements for the works. And within eight weeks, I had 14 two minute movements of beautiful music. Uh, unbelievable. You can hear these amazing performances on our YouTube playlist uh, that I will also place in the chat. Here it is right here. Um, so our playlist for, for the other pieces is there and go check them out. They're beautiful as well. Uh, for spring, we wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, a one movement piece that went through many different moods. Now that required a little finagling uh, to put together a tone poem. That's what this is. Um, once again, the composers came through with two pieces, two complete pieces that we were able to record in two minute sections. So each mood that the piece goes through was two minutes long and then was composed specifically to dovetail into the next mood, the next section of the piece, uh, the following week. And so with that in mind, we were able to record a new piece every single week. It was a uh, quite a feat. <laughs> um, I would like to thank our incredible composers for allowing us to create new art as a symphony orchestra. Despite COVID restrictions, our rewarding year would not have been possible without you, Scott Lillard and Cody Anderson. So thank you so much right off the bat. Um, I'd like to introduce the first of these composers, Scott Lillard, to tell you about the first piece on our program tonight. And let's bring Scott in here. There we go. Scott, you are on. Okay. Well, first off, I'd like to thank Jim and the orchestra and Santa Barbara City College for making this weird, bizarre concert season possible. It's I've wanted to write for these musicians for 20 years, and it's just a strange turn of events that made it finally possible and I just have loved it but the composition itself let's talk about that um, 
It was inspired by a speech um, of the same title by a, the renowned theoretical physicist, educator, and amateur bongo player, Richard Feynman, uh, who is one of my heroes in physics. Um, in it, he describes a glass of wine and how every component therein can be separated into smaller constructs by our different scientific disciplines. There's physics and the mechanics of the solid and liquid, biology and chemistry and the fermented grapes. There's geology and the distilled rock that makes the glass and so forth. Uh, if you're not familiar with this speech, please Google it sometime. It's very easy to find and it's, it's a beautiful speech. Um, orchestral music by nature is abstract, but if I did my job right, uh, you'll recognize the sound of the glass and the wine being poured into it. You'll hear it expanding into a starry sky and the pieces being pulled apart and studied by different disciplines. You'll hear Feynman's proclamation that all life is fermentation, followed by development into humanity's progression and our quest for the stars. <laughs> uh, once out in the space, you'll hear our realization that the building blocks of stars, people, landscapes are the same building blocks. To quote another great physicist, Carl Sagan, we are made of star stuff. So the scientists and the innovators are an artist put it all back together into this wonderful analogous microcosm and we get to enjoy the wine for its intent. And um, I hope that you're able to enjoy this piece for its intent. Uh, I know that I have enjoyed hearing these amazing musicians bring my thoughts to life. And here it is. The Universe in a Glass of Wine by Scott Lillard.
Scott Lillard. Composer, composer. Amazing job, Scott. Thank you very much. I also want to acknowledge some of our soloists on that last uh, piece of music, Kevin Kishiyama. Uh, that came in from Hawaii, right, Kevin? Which is why, even though all the backgrounds, it was dark for us, it was still light out on his square. So if you look at the next video that we do, watch his square, it's three hours brighter. Uh, <laughs> and, and Margaret is joining, Margaret Lafon is joining us from Maryland. So uh, wave, Margaret, so we know who you are. <laughs> so we have, uh, we've had tracks come in from all over the place, but I, let me go on and acknowledge these wonderful soloists. Lori Rasmussen, who played the beautiful intro to part three there, uh, our harpist, she's amazing. And uh, again, on the last movement, uh, Kevin Kishiyama and uh, Christine Pacheco, burnt. Um, wonderful job on the duet. So difficult. And did I mention Scott Pickering on principal trumpet on several little solo sections? Scott, beautiful. Um, can't see you right now, but that's okay. We'll just know we love you. Uh, <laughs> a virtual standing ovation from... Dean Elizabeth Imhoff, thank you so much for attending today. It's so neat to see people's comments in the chat and we can interact with them in real time. You see some of the uh, musicians also typing in the chat. This is something we could never do uh, when we were live. Uh, musicians, do you want to let people know how we did this? Is there anybody who wants to mention it, talk about it? I'll give it a Go shot. Go for it. Okay. So we were able to download a, what's called a click track of the the movements uh, at the same time that we downloaded the sheet music and each musician had to record his part his or her part uh, individually which is which is really difficult because you until you've done it you don't realize how much you rely upon the people that are sitting right next to you to keep you in pitch to keep you in time when you have to do it is sitting in your own living room, uh, playing the click track back on a computer and recording. I think most of us used a cell phone. You just have no idea how much you rely on the mu musicians around you. So uh, then we would send our, our individual, we would e email our individual MP3s uh, to, to uh, our conductor, Jim Mui, who would then assemble them into an orchestra and all of the rubato, uh, you know, every time we get a little slower, a little faster, Jim would have to, uh, to put that in later, exactly the way that a conductor does with a live orchestra, uh, telling them all at the same time when to speed up or slow down. <laughs> um, it's, I, I can't believe the amount of work that you did, Jim, to make this happen. I'm laughing because uh, Don Faith just typed something in the in our Zoom chat. And YouTube folks, Terrence had a cricket problem, and crickets are. Oh. <laughs> Don Faith just typed, yeah. "Don't forget the crickets." And so when Terrence <laughs> would return in these beautiful tracks, of course, I'd hear this. Gee, 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 and I'd mix it in with the whole orchestra. And you'd think, you know, 30, 40, 50 tracks. You'd think it would. Uh, get buried. Nope, that cricket was right at the front of the mix. <laughs> and of course, at my age, I don't hear that frequency oh, anymore, stop. so I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Terrence, for explaining how that worked. And everybody in this orchestra had to figure out how to do this. Download the sheet music, download the click track, play it on their computer, record it onto their phone. And so what you just heard was cell phone recordings for the most part. A few people have um, some, some USB mics, but for the most part, it was cell phone recordings, which is just crazy. Um, so I couldn't believe how good it sounded the first time we did it. And so uh, this was back in the fall. And I really encourage you to go hear those uh, suites that was written by the same two amazing composers. Um, musicians are often their own harshest critics, but each week the fears would melt away, if only for a moment, as we listen to a two minute section of everyone's recording mixed together. And that's what gave us the bravery to do the next week's project. And then we, you know, some people would say, oh, it's horrible. I can't stand listening to myself. And they'd hear it in context and they would be the first ones in line for the next week. So it was just, this project is reaffirmed 
you know, that the musical sum is greater than its parts. It's reaffirmed why we make music at a community college. A community working together is greater than the sum of its parts. You know, it's another case of music leading the way here. So there, that's my bit on community college music and why it needs to keep happening. Um, we should go on to our next composer because I'm sure I'm boring the YouTube audience. No, we've gone up to, uh, we've gone up by 12 viewers. So thanks for joining us. Uh, <laughs> looking at the stats here. Um, I want to introduce to you are a composer who had an original piece premiered by this SBCC concert band under the direction of Eric Heidner in December of 2019, I believe. Um, Cody Duke Anderson is another talented member of our orchestra. We're so spoiled. Scott and Cody are in our group. And uh, I want you to um, hear about his piece directly from him. So Cody, if you could, let me bring you on the screen here. There we go. You're live, Cody. Hi, uh, so I'm Cody, uh, and I am at heart a very programmatic composer. I grew up with a lot of soundtracks, so I need to have kind of a story with everything I write. And uh, turns out stories are a little tougher to feel when you're locked down in COVID. Um, and so one of the things I kind of got into as like a little side thing was watching YouTube videos of just people traveling and going places. And that led me eventually to the wonderful world of YouTube cable car videos. It is very relaxing. Um, so the inspiration for this piece actually came from one of the longest cable cars in the world, if not the longest. Um, I think it's called the Tianmen Mountain Cable Car. And there's this wonderful video where you start in this deep valley covered in mist and you're slowly rising through it. And then you open up into this beautiful landscape and you're just rising higher and higher into the sky. It feels like you're floating and dancing into the clouds. And finally, at the end, you arrive at this wonderful just standing out in the middle of the open mountaintops and crags and peaks and so you arrive at this beautiful location so that's really what this piece is about is kind of escaping and flying up into the sky and landing somewhere just really wonderful so that's and what is the name of the very, piece uh the piece is called to the sky with an exclamation point at the end <laughs> he made a point to tell me that there was there must be an exclamation point at the end of to the sky <laughs> Oh, and I'm, I might mention that Cody and Scott uh, are available for other um, uh, commissions. Uh, so if you would like to commission a piece by either of these two composers, I suggest you get them quickly. Uh, they're very busy. Uh, <laughs> well, without any further ado, Cody, may I run the, run the video? We hope you enjoy this To the Sky by the Santa Barbara City College Symphony Orchestra.
and applause for Cody. <laughs> Just beautiful, Cody. Absolutely beautiful. The comments in the chat throughout that entire piece of music were amazing. So uh, I know that our composers uh, can't always see what's going on in the chat. So you have to watch this, watch the replay. Um, so you can see the, the live chat. It should scroll through. That's it's um, all our friends are here. It's really neat. Uh, and our viewership keeps going up, um, which is a good sign. You, you know, you don't want to go down during the performance, uh, but it's gone up the entire time. So thank you all for, for listening to us. Um, Cody, again, thank you for your music. Scott, thank you for your music. Uh, we just couldn't have made this semester happen this year happen without either of you, um, in the mix. Um, I want to acknowledge a, a few people on that last performance, by the way. Uh, how about the basses in the opening? Uh, Tar Todd Harwig and uh, Christopher Derrick. Um, the Ascension Through the Mist featured Carol Rowe on cello. Yeah, okay. Well, she, yeah. She's in Ohio right now. They, they have a square, that square right behind my head that says David. That's actually Carol and David. They're in Ohio right now. Uh, so they couldn't get their camera going. Um, but Carol, beautiful. Um, and then Carol and David Rowe were featured on part two, Floating Above the Clouds, along with Kevin Kishiyama on violin. I believe, by the way, that was our um, first husband and wife duet. I'm not sure if the tree Trujillos had a duet ever, but we need to arrange that. For the Trujillos, they're down. They're, they're right next to me here in the squares. Um, both excellent horn players. Um, and so uh, we had Carol and David um, and Kevin, of course, and Lewis, our fine oboist with the group, um, had a nice solo in the second part of that. Uh, part three, Bounding Across in Flight, Flight featured Kevin Kishiyama again and Johan Trujillo on horn. And part five uh, had a nice little introduction with Molly Gilmore on bassoon and she's not in the zoom right now but i saw uh, her mother in the chat so i assume she's listening right now hi molly you're amazing um i also want to acknowledge uh, the fine principal trumpet playing of scott pickering throughout all of this um uh, part yeah, yeah. four in particular had some sections that i didn't realize how difficult they were until i started mixing them and i thought he did all this in one take the man is made of iron um, so, and the horn parts were not trivial as well. As a brass player, I can really appreciate that. And of course, the virtuosic string parts that were written. One of the things that I asked our composers to do was to compose virtuosic string parts. And they certainly came through uh, as Kevin uh, <laughs> and Christine will certainly tell you. I think uh, you two had the, the most difficult solos. The cello's got all the beautiful... Uh, Slow, gorgeous solos, and uh, the violins had the pyrotechnics, so um, maybe next time we'll share the love with the cello. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to thank our wonderful composers again uh, for taking us on with this crazy idea that we had years ago. Oh, my gosh, our principal clarinet is Pear Elmfers is coming in the Zoom. Where's Pear? Where the, he's, he'll be down here at the very bottom. Here, I'm going to move him. Let me get him up here with Sandy. Where'd Sandy go? There we go. This is impossible okay well he's just a square right now but he's an amazing square i'll say that uh <laughs> pair uh we loved having your principal clarinet parts laid down every single week and sandy and pair here's a weird thing you musicians you would expect stand partners who play together to maybe have some differences but when i got sandy and pair's tracks they breathed in the same place they phrased exactly the same they were recorded at separate houses yet they play together so long they know exactly how each other plays it was astounding to get their tracks and find that they just synced up together no breathing issues no nothing perfectly in tune by the way as well so astounding clarinet section um i want to again thank everybody for going along with this crazy idea that i had one year ago i think we have all grown as musicians and artists and i think that this orchestra no matter who's in front of it, is an absolute treasure that we have in Santa Barbara. <sighs> now, if you feel inspired, down to business here. Come on, man. I should have done this right at the beginning. If you feel inspired to donate, 
to our orchestra, you may make a tax-deductible donation to the orchestra through the SBCC Foundation. I've placed the web address in the chat so you can copy that now and paste it into a separate window of your browser. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment or question in the chat if you'd like to, um, and we're happy to respond to you live even after the curtain is drawn here. Um, I also want to, um, one more time, just mention our YouTube page, uh, which is also now in the chat for you. Uh, and you can see all the other groups at Santa Barbara City College and find out when we have future live streams happening. So thanks so much for watching. Orchestra, you are amazing. Uh, and I'm so, so proud to um, get a chance to stand in front of you, albeit virtually, this year. Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you for watching, everybody. And uh, Orchestra... <laughs> See you at Harry's. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>